Hi, I'm Anna, and I've been having a lot of fun with washcloths, trying to figure out some really fun ways to present them. And I was inspired by this old-fashioned sucker. This is from Kendon Sucker Factory. We love them. Hello, guys. And I really wanted to create this um, color wheel that they have in the center of the suckers. So what I did is I did it using a white washcloth and some felt. And I think I achieved that method pretty well. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now to achieve the color swirl in the center of the washcloth, I just took good old fashioned felt squares and I cut them into two inch strips. Once I cut them into two inch strips, then I cut them into a two inch square. So you can see, you can get a lot of suckers out of one strip of um, the felt. Now we're gonna take those felt squares and we're gonna lay them out overlapping just slightly. So I'm gonna start with my yellow put my yellow down and here again you can either use um, hot glue or um, a fabric glue to attach these so I'm overlapping about a half an inch onto each one of the squares so just like that okay so then you're going to go ahead and glue those down now that I have all my squares glued down I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to run um, a bead of glue along the edge here and I'm going to fold it. Now if you're using um, a fabric glue you may want to um, use something to hold them down a little bit longer. Hot glue will just work by using your fingers so it's going to look like so. And let me bring this one out so you can see it a little bit better. So that's where it's folded and glued together and I'm just going to swing that around because this is actually the edge we're are achieving in this project. Now to make the base of the sucker, we're gonna need a white washcloth. I'm using washcloths, the inexpensive ones that you can buy at a lot of the box stores. And it's important that you don't get a really thick washcloth because it won't uh, fold up as well as we're gonna need it to make this particular sucker. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your washcloth and you're gonna fold it into a triangle, just like so, making sure you're smoothing it out as you're going. I'm gonna fold it one more time here I'm folding it towards me. Then I'm just going to fold half this length. So I'm just going to fold right to here. Now this part does get a little bit tricky I have to tell you because you're going to feel like it's all thumbs but it's really important you do it. And I'm going to fold it one more time and that's, let me just turn this over so you can see that a little bit better. Okay. So now the tricky part here is you really do need to hold this down tight and I'm going to add our piece of felt that we had um, previously made, our little felt swirl. And I'm going to place that down. I'm going to place the yellow towards the um, end of the washcloth. And here again, you're going to make sure it stays nice and tight. I'm going to fold this end over. And let me just switch this around so you can see what I'm doing. And very, very tight. You want to keep this end of the folded felt towards the top. And you're just going to have to work it a little bit. So be patient. You probably have to do this a couple of times till you get it down because trust me, I did. <laughs> and you're just going to keep rolling. And you can see I'm applying pressure as I'm going because I want this to be nice and tight. And I'm holding not only the washcloth down, but I'm also holding the felt as I go. Okay. And I'm just coming right to my end. I'm going to take this, the thinner part from the other end of the washcloth. I'm pulling that really tight. Just see that right there? You have this little, oh, it's, there's no other folded washcloth part. It's just kind of like a little lip, let's call it. And then we're gonna take one of a straight pin, and there's only one pin that holds this whole washcloth together. You're gonna push that in, and then look at that. You have your base of your sucker made. Now, I really wanna keep this looking like a sucker, and the old-fashioned suckers actually have wood um, sucker sticks. So I took a wooden dowel and I cut it down so you can see here is a regular dowel. These actually came in packages this length but if you have longer ones at home you can use those too. I marked a spot on it and I actually just used an exacto knife and went back and forth with it until um, I felt like I kind of got through the wood a little bit and let's see if I can even show you. You should be able to just snap it really easily. Oh amazing it worked. And then I just took the X-Acto knife and I cut off the extra little wood pieces. And if you have sandpaper, you can sand it and go do all of that. So you have your um, eight and a half inch piece of um, sucker stick. Now it's time to wrap up our sucker. So I'm gonna take our sucker uh, washcloth 
and we're going to take the dowel. I did not want to attach the dowel to the back of the washcloth because it's just one more step and if people really are going to use them they're going to have to untie something so I thought this was just better if we do it this way. I've cut a square of cellophane and I'm putting it on like this. I'm just going to bring it over and if you do push, you push up the dowel, let me show you that. See I'm pushing the dowel pretty much right up to the top of the cellophane right there and if as you're wrapping you can just bring it, you're holding the dowel as you go there we go. So now I'm going to flip this over so you can see. Okay, there we go. So now you can see it looks like the sucker. And then if you're throwing a party, you can use any ribbon that will coordinate with the party. If you want to add more than just one piece of ribbon, you can do that. This is wired ribbon. I thought it was really fun because then you can you know, make your ribbon bows pretty. And let's see how tricky I am if I can do this upside down for you guys. You can pull a nice tight knot. I'm just going to double check my stick. It sticks up here. It's not going anywhere. And now we're going to just tie a pretty bow. This could be very challenging upside down, so please bear with me. There we go. And you just want to fuss with your wire. And that's why it's fun to use the wired ribbon because you can really fuss with this and just really make yourself a great bow. Okay or not. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then if you want, um, this particular cello seems to be the right length, but if you don't want the little um, tips on it, just go ahead and trim those off with your scissors. And there's your sucker washcloth. I think these are really cute. Great, and it, we, I did use them for a party favor and they were just a really fun idea. And it's, I wanna also say this is very economical. You can make this washcloth sucker probably for about a dollar. So, you know, it does really make a great favor and it's fun. One pin, unravel the whole thing. And if you even wanted to hang a little note on the back so people know that there's one pin to take the washcloth apart, they could do that. But look how cute they are. I just, um, I think this is a really fun project and I hope you enjoyed it. And you know what we say when creativity knocks? Open the door.